Be curious people who are no longer curious. What did you find out? I wasn't confused until everyone started telling me I was confused. This isn't what you're looking for but I think it's funny. I, lesbian, was trolling Craigslist to get laid and I come across this girl who is curious. I go to her place and she immediately goes down on me, fingers me, etc. She's actually doing a pretty good job. When she's done I turn to do her and she goes nope, not curious anymore, and I got kicked out. At least she finished you off. I am straight, but girls just happen to be so mind-blowingly beautiful. No wonder I wanted to try it once. Sometimes you gotta suck a dong to realize you don't like sucking dong. That having an MMF threesome and having a dong inside me while mine is inside a lovely lady gave me the most earth-shattering orgasm I've ever experienced. But straight up gay intercourse just wasn't happening and I'm apparently not attracted to men. Which is a dang shame because I really liked getting fricked and I didn't even mind having a go at sucking dong. But apparently if a woman isn't involved my boner goes a wall. Oh, and it's a lot harder to find a girl that will slip a strap and up you than you think. Came out as curious, had fun times with a dude, and I realized I was a big ol' gay. I don't like touching other women's vags. I like women's faces and bodies and breasts but not vags. Even when I was very little I used to have crushes on guys and before I could even jack off I liked looking at dongs more than vags. I figured I was gay from like 14 until 22. Then I found out about traps and started to jack off to cross dressers and had intercourse with a few and then dated a guy who started to take hormones and I started calling him a girl. Next thing I know I'm watching bisexual P and I started to notice the women around work more and now I'm jacking off to straight P and dating a male to female transsexual and not sure what I am besides currently high. What a roller coaster. That I am actually extremely straight. I don't even enjoy kissing other girls. I tried the whole, no, I only care about the person, not the body they have, nope, that body better have a dong. When I got fricked in the butt I realized I don't like it, but still I'm gay. Man must suck to realize you don't like dong inside you when you have a dong inside you. Not me but I have a friend who has always been quite feminine and we were all just waiting for him to come out of the closet when one day he brought some little skinny dude with him to her party. We were all having a good time and it was nice to finally see my buddy come out of his shell. Anyways skip to about 3 in the morning after a few hours of these guys making out and so on and they finally decide to go back to his place. I start leaving at about 4.30 and this is where I receive a call from my buddy. This is where I should probably tell you that I worked as a bouncer back then, where he sounds really tired sad and annoyed. He tells me that the guy didn't want to leave and that he just wanted him out of his apartment and that the police wouldn't help since they weren't fighting or anything. So I stopped by him on my way home and apparently they had been kinda of fooling around and had been touching each other and stuff like that but once the pants came off my friend just knew that this was not something he wanted to pursue any further. Problem is that the other guy was a weirdo and figured a hunger strike in my friend's living room was the way to go instead of going home and finishing the job himself. So I kicked him out and made sure that he didn't go back in and then I went home to sleep. Next day I called my friend to see how he was doing and if the guy had come back. He hadn't but he had texted him all night after that and left him voice messages. And that is how one of my friends found out he wasn't beat. I've had a small sample size to work with, but so far it reinforced just being B. Let me know if you'd like a big sample size. While I found guys tended to be better kissers, I couldn't get over beard stubble. It itches. Also fricking was just returning the favor so it was a lot like jacking off with some help. I genuinely thought all women got off to women in P. I called myself Pecurious because I got off often to women. Then I finally brought it up to friends, who shut that crap down, and I realized I was never curious, I was just really into women. It was a rough day, I'm not gonna lie. After my first kiss with another woman, I finally understood what all of those annoying love songs were talking about. I'm not attracted to men at all, but I do enjoy sucking a dong now and then. I prefer getting BJs from women though. Gay dudes give killer blowjobs, but I am in fact straight. 
that I'm straight, or at least I'm straighter. I've had intercourse with a few guys, was capable and enjoyed it. I figured that meant I was B, but over time, realized that I just don't have an attraction to dudes the way I do women. It's not automatic, that's the best way I can put it. I am into dudes and gals, who knew. I'm gay. That I'm bi fairy I was. Guy here, was curious about intercourse with other guys. Tried it a few times, I didn't find it repulsive or anything and I did in fact have an orgasm. However, I found that I just wasn't attracted to men. Oh well, on the plus side, was so much easier and less work to find a partner. I am in fact a gay. That I as a female love being with women as much if not maybe even a bit more than with men, but on an emotional level have never found myself truly attracted to in a more than physical way a woman. I have spent many years trying to understand this and have attempted to be with on an emotional level both men and women, but I have found that I will never be actually in love with or more than just surface level freaking after a woman, where I do and have had those feelings for men. I have no idea what that means so I say I am straight because I think it's more about who you love not what you experiment with and I have never found myself able to love a woman in that way, or even have been interested in being with a woman in a loving real relationship type way. I have tried and searched but I dk, is that even being be curious? I have no idea. I found out that I appreciate how beautiful and soft the female body is, but I do not like vag at all. That I'm a lesbian, went from thinking I was straight and just disappointed in intercourse and relationships. I always liked the idea of men, but being with them was never like what I thought love and fricking would be like. Your first time always sucks guys your age just don't know what they're doing men and women will never understand each other were phrases that I heard a lot, and kept me from questioning my sexuality for a long time. Then, after having quite a few brief, unhappy relationships with a bunch of different types of men, I finally tried dating women. Way better. I thought I was bisexual for about 2 years after that, then finally realized that I was only dating men while I waited for women to come along. Admitted to myself that while I didn't hate intercourse with men, I much preferred the company of women. Been with a woman for about 2 years now and things are great. I found out I wasn't curious. I'm super gay. I had a manic episode a few months ago before I was properly diagnosed bipolar, and I decided I wanted to explore my sexuality. I had it in my head that we could all love each other and the whole gay straight dichotomy was false, that it was something society had brainwashed us into. I, being an open minded free thinking person attempted to teach myself to be bisexual. I met a guy on tinder and we became really close after meeting up a few times. The more familiar we got. The more attractive I found him, but after I started taking medication and my brain finally slowed down I didn't feel very homo about the whole thing anymore, at least not in a physical way. I still felt emotionally attached and I wanted to remain close to him, but he wanted a relationship. I tried to explain to him what happened, in other words I came out as straight, but he thought it was all a ridiculous excuse and he stopped speaking to me. I feel bad for leading him on, but I was really unwell and deluded at the time. I was really hoping we could stay friends. If you look like a straight girl, no lesbian will touch you because they don't believe your affection is real. I've always known I've liked guys so my be curious was more reversed. Turns out I like girls too. Not as much as guys, but enough to not consider myself full blown gay. Romantically, I'm only semi romantically attracted to girls and sexually attracted like 75% of the time. Guys, I can be 100% romantically and sexually attracted. I fall about a 4.5 on the Kinsey scale. Gave it a shot. Turns out I do indeed only go for blokes. Got a lot of free drinks though. That I can have little crushes on guys and everything. Kissing at a push. But no dong for me thank you. Being a bacurious teen lesbian was an interesting experience. I guess my label is be romantic homosexual. But even then I'll lean so far towards women that it doesn't really matter. As a guy, that I simply do not have any sexual attraction to males. I can have a male crush and fall in love with one. 
but there just wasn't any sexual attraction in it whatsoever. I've had some labels being thrown around but I'm not sure whether I'm actually feeling it or just confusing closeness and companionship with actual romantic attraction because the feelings come and go and gets really mixed up. It's just weird. Should mention that I am now happily in a relationship with a wonderful woman, and any bacuriousness that I probably once had had pretty much disappeared. I'm not gay, but I don't mind a little anal play. A regular gay doctor, Seuss over here. I'm a guy, came out as gay years ago, really be, but easier to just say gay. I prefer guys, but like girls too, married to another man. Most girls won't date a guy who has been full on gay, at last not when I was younger. I thought I liked guys and girls, just girls a little more. As it turns out, I am a raging lesbian. Like, I can recognize when men are handsome or pretty, I can admire a good looking dude, and I can even kinda understand the appeal some men are very attractive but I have absolutely no desire to be romantic with them, kiss them, frick them, whatever, at best I'll probably point them out to my friends who do like men, but girls, Jesus are a show Christ on a pogo stick, girls are so pretty, like, holy crap. I see at least 10 girls a day who could ask me for my bank account number and pin and I'd probably hand it over just because they are so ro. So, basically, men are alright but I wouldn't bed one. Women are incredible and I wanna wed one. That I rather enjoy burying my face in vag and being fricked by an attractive woman with a strap on. Glad I cleared that up for myself. Sexually, I'm more attracted to females than I am to males. Romantically, I could probably click with any gender, so I can't say more than the other. I won't be testing it anytime soon though, as I'm happily married to my husband. I click with him like no other, and he isn't offended that I prefer ladies sexually. He definitely does everything he can to make up for not being a lady. Three things. First, I found out it's possible to be attracted to both men and women. No, you don't have to choose one or the other. Finally, being bisexual introduced me to being more open-minded in general. My buddy gave me a lap dance during a game of truth or dare. From what my dong seemed to think, it turns out I'm bisexual, but definitely heteroromantic. Kissing a guy is like eating vanilla ice cream. Honestly you'd really prefer chocolate, because chocolate ice cream is really quite good, and vanilla ice cream is meh but you're not going to say no if somebody offers it, because how very nice of them. But really you'd prefer if they offered you chocolate ice cream and you're never going to buy vanilla ice cream on your own. I'm bisexual. I like dong. I'm just not attracted to 99.999% of men. The solution is transgender women and women with strap-ons. I do also really really love pee and boobs, a guy btw. I'm basically straight, but so hella good at eating pee it would be a waste not to your feel. You have been visited by the grandmother gymnast comment my body is my temple, so you can do that when you're old. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.